Welcome to the first ever episode of the Ultimate Deck Show. I'm Shane Chapman here with Justin McRae, Wade Laurent, and today's episode is all about Trex decking. We're going to do a little video or show about each brand of decking that we carry at the store. If there's others you guys want us to talk about, let us know, but otherwise we'll stick to the six that we're really comfortable with because we sell at the store. But we carry all the big brands, so we're not missing any, any of the big guys. So first up is Trex. Trex is obviously the big brand in the industry. It's the one everybody knows. It's the Skidoo, it's the Kleenex, it's the Coca-Cola, it's whatever. Um, so they've, for the last few years, have been fairly uh, firm in their lineup. There's been no major changes, no major colors leaving or coming or going or anything. It's been easy. It's been a good seller, the whole lineup. All of a sudden this year, boom, boom, they blow up the whole lineup and everything changes. So. I think a show like this only makes sense to show people all these changes that are happening for 2019. So let's go through this one by one. We're gonna start off with the stuff that people know. No, we're not. No, we're gonna, we laid those out on the floor <laughs> in an <laughs> order that would surprise you. That's what you're we no, gonna go back. We surprised ourselves. We <laughs> surprised ourselves. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna. What do you wanna do? <laughs> do, you wanna, do you wanna talk about yeah. these ones? Or you wanna... I wanna... Select is a great line. Okay, there we go. I think Select's a good... So I guess I thought we were gonna work back. Is, anyway, it doesn't exactly producer producer Pat here. There we go. Oh, yeah, producer Pat. Maybe doing exactly what I said. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking something different. You probably were. Here we go. <laughs> so the Trek Select lineup. This has been a big seller in past years. It's it, it was their entry level board. It was their lowest price point. You know, in Canada that was always kind of the mid to high three price point. In the states, I'm guessing mid twos. I'm not sure where the exchange rate and the logistical efficiencies brought that down to, but. It's always come in four colors, so sorry, five, five colors. Yeah, Madeira is uh, in there. Four that are re readily available in Canada. Madeira isn't as much available in Canada. We don't even have a sample of it. It's actually like a reddish color. But the the known thing about these Trex Select boards is the fact that they're just like a solid color, a very shallow wood grain. It's all kind of pointing one direction. It looks a little bit more plasticky, but it's a great seller because the colors work well, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good price point, right? That always drives the, the sales. That's right. It's a big brand too, so it's like it's the cheapest option of getting yourself a Trex deck, which has a great warranty and a you know good reputation. So coming back this year, nothing's changing with Select in 2019. Nope. Winchester Gray is still in the lineup. That's like a nice dark, almost bluish gray color. So that one's still in the lineup. Big seller for us in Canada. Uh, I don't know about the states, but this has always been a good board the for us. Grays, right? The two grays, right? You two pair off the Winchester. pebble gray and Winchester. Yeah, these two are always dynamite together. So we've got the Winchester gray, we've got the pebble gray, which is their light gray offering. And you'll notice, like I said, all the graining kind of points that one direction. So depending on your level of OCD when you're installing this stuff, some people like to make sure the grain's all pointing the same direction. Some guys like to make it, you know, mix it up and have it pointing this way and that way and kind of randomize it. But what you definitely don't want to do is lay them all this way and find out you did one board this way. So I did that. You found out the hard way. This is my own personal that. deck. I did a Winchester Gray in my own. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. I put, let's say there's 26 boards on there. I installed 13 one way, one the other, finished out the deck, stepped back, pat on the back, cracked a beer, looked Good at job, the deck. Me. Good I job, me. I nailed it. Not so much. Yeah. Set the beer down removed the rest, <laughs> changed one back to the way that it was supposed to be, because I actually didn't think I was that OCD until you oh, see boy. one that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, no, 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 I have to change that. So yep. uh, either pay attention or don't pay attention. No matter yeah. how much work was required to change that board, <laughs> yeah. it had to it be had changed. To be changed. Yeah, you no, couldn't I can't, just leave it. I can't leave that. So anyways, so these two. Yeah, Rock so those are the good solid gray colors from Trex. Yeah. They'll still be solid. Um, they maybe won't be quite as popular this year for reasons that we'll talk about and get to. Yeah. Saddle, another color that uh, is in the Trek Select lineup. Um, in markets where browns do well, I suspect that that's quite a good seller. Also gets complemented quite well with the Woodland Brown. So those are the kind of the, the those are the brown equivalents of the Winchester Gray and the Pebble yep. Gray. Saddle and Woodland Brown. As I mentioned, we don't have the Madeira color here. It's a reddish kind of color. Our distributor in Canada doesn't stock it, so it's very hard for us to get. But if you are in a market where reds are your thing, it'll uh, it'll be available there. Next up, well, okay, we're okay. gonna go all over the place here. <laughs> I'm just well, like, no. I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> producer Pat. Okay, producer Pat. Anyway, I'm just kidding. You're there we doing go. this the right order. Okay, <laughs> so. Trex Transcend, 
we're mixing this a little bit. Pat, pass, let's let's go through the enhance, the old enhance line first, because that actually still is a is a current one. Pat, if you can pass me, we have a clamshell on at the, the end on the floor over there. Yep, that one right there. So there we go. This is actually or was actually Trex's middle tier board, uh, the enhance line. Not great distribution on this as well, but this clamshell color always did really well. It was always good in the box stores up here, right? Yeah. In, the, in Canada, Home Depot like had that one. Yeah. Box store H. Yeah. And this was always like this is always a really good color. Yeah, it worked really well. One, here. one of my favorite colors. Nice in the graining, store. good price point. It was always kind of like the mid fours, roughly. Yeah. Came in two other colors as well. Saddle, which there was two colors, two different lines, both called Saddle. Yeah. And Beach Dune. Beach Dune was the other one. So two brown colors. We don't have the samples here again because they weren't big, you know, largely distributed in Canada. Yeah. Um, so that's the old Enhance line. Now this is going to get confusing because now there's two other lines that use the word Enhance. But just so you're aware, Pat, keep that close to the other ones that we talked about there. That was just a logical progression to, you know, that's the existing Trex lineup, but it's going to be staying the same. Pass me uh, the old rope swing as well. One thing I should mention, this is the new Trex Transcend line. Now Tra Trex Transcend is Trex's highest quality board. So they've kind of got a good, better, best, select, enhance, transcend, or they did. This would be the highest end. So this is a solid color, um, no variegation through it. So Trex Transcend is actually broken up into two lines, the solid colors and then the tropical line which has all the colors so you can Variegated. get everything. Everybody thinks yeah. it's pretty, right? So yeah. this one is gravel path. Now there is a change to this for 2019. So the change is, let's switch this up. Grab me the rope swing on the bottom there. The colors are staying the same. So the five colors that made up the Trex Transcend line originally are staying the same. But what you're going to notice there is the embossing has changed. So the one on my right side right here has a much more linear graining to it. it looks more similar to Azek if you're familiar with it but it more it's it's not quite as deep but it's a more attractive graining the old stuff here had that swirly graining a little bit deeper some dirt and grime can get caught in there a little bit easier sure. so yep. it's a, it's definitely an attractive change it's going to make some logistics with dealers and wholesalers a little bit oh tricky boy, right like you think about that you have transcend one and transcend two yeah. Right. Yeah. Could get a we little. We a couple years of probably trying to sort that out. That'll be a little bit tough. Yeah. And I think at some point Trex is going to have to take all that stuff back and grind it up and start over. But there's a lot of it out there. Right? Boy, but, oh boy. So this graining is more similar to the tropical graining. Now they've they, they they're comparable now. So, um, anyways, these come in five colors. This line. So rope swing has always been a fairly yep. popular one. That's kind of that beigey. Tanny colors. Yes, we've yeah. got gravel path. Gravel path, path. Gravel path yeah. has always been popular. It's a gray, but it's a little bit kind of earthy to it. It's not like a pure gray, so it's been a popular one. Looks really nice with that new embossing. We've got this is fire pit, right? Yeah. Yep. And this fire pit is kind of a reddish brown board. You can see, again, not big up in Canada, or at least in central Canada, where reds aren't super popular. But it's a nice looking brown, yeah. reddish brown. We've got uh, Treehouse, Treehouse yeah. here. So Treehouse is a lighter brown. Again, that's the new variegation. One thing I should show you too that's changing on these, not only is the embossing changing, but on the entire lineup, there's actually a small chamfer on the bottom corner of the board now. Trex used to be quite rounded. Let me see that one here, I'll show this. If you can see the difference between those two, you've got a very round bottom corner on this one and a chamfered bottom corner on the new one. And so I believe that the reason they're doing that now is that Trex decking in some certain scenarios, not very often, but you'd hear some issues of them singing. And so apparently, not apparently, I've, we've experienced it ourselves a little bit, but in some situations when the wind's coming at it just right, and the deck's at a certain elevation, yeah, just, the right height, just the right wind, whatever just, else, yeah. the decks would hum. The wind would come up between the gaps of the boards and it would, it would, it would whistle, it would hum, yep. it would sing. So this little chamfer on the back, I think, is probably... The first time I heard that, somebody came in and told me that, I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're lying. This isn't true, right? Yeah. But it turns Do you out also it is hear a voices in your... Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are the beds? Are yeah. you on them? This <laughs> one here, this is the vintage lantern. <laughs> nice dark brown. That wraps up the Transcend line. So this has always been a good line, quality-wise really good. Yeah. It's always been a bit of a tough sell for us because for only a little bit more money, like, like 5-6% more, you get into the variegated stuff that looks quite pretty, right? Yeah. So 
not a huge line for us. Uh, the next line is, I have no idea, because Pat's going to pass me a random sample of boards, and I don't know which one he's going to go with, but I'm hoping... I'm gonna no, he's look, look. What is it? No, no I, would, no, I think we should keep going down the line. Maybe, we, I would say just a Trex Tropical there ones, maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll get into those guys. So this is Trex's <laughs> crown jewel. This is their top Flag, line. Flagship, if you will. Flagship line. Nothing changing. On these, right? I think everything's chamfered the same. edge. Nothing changing other than that little chamfered edge. These are the old samples, but you've grown to love the spiced rum. It's a nice neutral brown color with some black streaking, some variegation in there. That's quite a nice looking board if you're looking for brown tones. So nothing changing there. Nothing changing here either with lava rock. So this is a more reddish brown again, as the name would imply, lava rock. Nothing changing there. Beautiful board, black a of, streaking. A lot of browns in the uh, tropical. A lot of browns in the tropical, yeah, it's dominated by brown. So, Trex, so Tiki Torch is an interesting one. Most of Trek's lineup, the variegation is just black streaks in the base color, but Tiki Torch actually has more of a kind of burgundy reddish streaking in it, which is different than the other lines. Yeah. So this is a super attractive board, actually. It's not a super popular color because it's orangey and red, but when you see it, actually, when it, when you see it installed, it's one of those it things quite that's nice. maybe catching a little more traction of late, right? You start yep. to see a lot more of the, these reds showing up. People are requesting it, whether it's with a long board or, you know, their interior paneling. Yep. People are starting to actually put some more reds on. And that's in our market, right? Um, I imagine down in the States, these are already fairly popular. Yeah, there'll be certain areas that where the browns and reds do well, that I'm yep. sure that's a big seller for sure. Well. Looks good when it's mixed with like a spite, like a lava rock, especially, but sure. even a spice yeah. rum, whatever. Um, Havana Gold, again, bit of a yellowy, orangey colored board with some of that black streaking in it. Looks quite nice. Again, no changes. Chamfered Edge, that's it. And this is, in Canada anyway, this is the, this is the hot dog right here. Island Mist, so that nice gray color with some black, dark gray streaking in it. Yep. Uh, unchanged again this year, but it'll continue to be a hot it'll seller. It'll be a top sure. seller. This is a big one, right? Yeah, so. this is a big one, yep. Island Mist. So, that is what 2018, 17, and 16, and the last few years has looked like from Trex. The only change we talked about so far is the different embossing on the Transcend line, which, again, it looks a little bit more attractive. Now you can mix and match the Transcend and the Tropical lines eat more easily because they're, they've got the same embossing. I don't know why it was ever different. To be honest, either. I don't know why it was different, but it was. I think you nailed it this time, Pat. So, now we've got an order established as we're almost through it here. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, <laughs> what got blown up here a few weeks ago was Trex decided, hey, can you, can you do that again? The, we should have dropped that. Yeah. How much was that thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I, everything got blown up a few weeks ago because Trex, along with the other brand, big brands, have decided like there's too much of a price gap between pressure treated lumber and your entry level price point on your composite deck. Sure. People aren't making that leap. So Trex and everybody else decided. We've got to do something about this. We've got to, you know, we've got to convert that market because in the states, I think it's still well, everywhere. It's still very heavy wood. We don't see as much. We're a heavy composite shop, but mar the whole market is very heavy on wood still. And yeah, so they're trying. Do you know what the number is? I don't like, remember what the number is. It's something like eighty percent wood, yeah. still twenty percent in in the United States. Like in our store, that would be flipped. That would be probably ninety percent composite or PVC. Yeah. Um, we're a small specialty store, so we just I don't know. We tend we to sell more. We had a big jump in lumber products. last year, right? Our lumber sales were way up. Uh, yeah. I wonder if that has a bit to do with price points and you know the market, housing market starting to slow down. There's maybe yeah. not as much available income, and so we saw some more lumber last year. But yeah, we're seventy five percent composite. We also switched to all brown treated, which looks a lot yeah, nicer than the green treated. <clears throat> that might have attributed yeah, to a little more attractive sales. than the green stuff. Yeah, yeah. sure. Anyway. So what Trex has done now is they've released their lowest ever priced boards and so the confusing part I mentioned before the enhanced line well these are also called the enhanced line these are the new enhanced boards they've got two lines within that now the enhanced basics and the enhanced naturals so basics is first up on the docket here the color palettes are actually the same as the old enhanced ones we talked about um, clamshell beach dune and saddle the the colors are the same but they're not the same so they're very close but because in Trex's old boards there was still a lot of wood in the cap. You see that little fleck inside the, the cap there, you can see little flecks of wood and whatnot. So I, don't, I never ever got the reasoning as to why that was in there, but it's not anymore. And so what's happened now is that even though these are both called clamshell and they're supposed to be kind of 
the Talk same the same board, same mm -hmm. board yeah. you'll notice that the new one over here is much more rich in color it's got a it's lot almost darker it looks darker mm. well it is darker and I, I'm attributing a lot of that to the fact that there's no wood in the cap anymore so you're just getting a hundred percent colored plastic now not 90% color plastic and a bunch of lighter color wood flick. Yeah. So that's good. So we'll get rid of that old enhanced board. But yeah, okay. Now what you're gonna notice right away is that all the old boards were were full thickness. There was like no scallops in the back. Yep. Yeah. The only difference from line to line was that select was seven eighths of an inch thick instead of a full inch. Yep. Yeah. That's how they kept the cost down a little bit there. In order to get this stuff down into what we're expecting to be the two, like these are Canadian prices, two ninety nine, two seventy nine maybe. Um, in order to get down to that price point, and that's going to convert to a dollar ninety nine American or something, yep. they had to finally accept the fact that in North America they've had this in other markets, this scallop, but in North America they have to scallop the material now. So now we've got much less material in the board, so it brings the cost of it down. It's got a thinner cap than the Transcend line would have, yep. um, so that's going to contribute to that a little bit as well. It's got that same chamfer on it. I don't think it's an inch thick. Is it just under? Uh, I believe these are supposed to be an inch thick. Like on the full rib here, it's going to be an inch thick. But there's, but these scallops are nine sixteenths deep. I think there's only seven sixteenths of material remaining on this little thing here. It's still, still strong. Still passes their test. Still installs on sixteen inch centers. Yep. Nothing wrong with it there. A little bit trickier to do. You know, nose overs or stairs. A little bit trickier to work with. The yeah, big it's knock. Still strong though, right? Still mm -hmm. strong. Yeah. Structurally, it's fine, right? The big knock is that with these lines, because they're scalloped, you're not going to be able to use Cortex plugs. So if you're not familiar with Cortex plugs, they are the system from Fasten Master where the screw is countersunk into the board. There's a plug that's cut from the same material that you tap over top, hides the screw. They're amazing. They're like they're the, one of the coolest things in decking. Um, not available for these, unfortunately, because of those scallops, because they don't trust the installers to know where to put those screws. Anyway, you don't want to hit a screw in the shallow yeah, part. Nearly no material left, right? Not, so yeah, yeah, not enough material to countersink the screw down a quarter inch and put a plug over top. So that's the only knock on this. You have to use a color match screw, but you forced know into a frame, I would think, right? So you're forced into a picture frame because on the edge of your deck, when you cut it off, you don't want to see that. Scallop. Yeah, you don't want to see mm -hmm. the scalloped edge. On your the option end. would be either a raised fascia, yeah. which could possibly accelerate rot on the edge of there, right? Yeah. So there's different uh, different types of protection that you can put on your framing, right? Trex has a, a tape that you can tape on top of your joist, right? Joist tape, yeah. <clears throat> Cover that up, but yep. I think there's you have to address the issue of the scallop with a solid edge. Maybe it didn't match, like maybe the color wasn't right, but at least the board looked like a deck board, right? It was yep. solid. Yeah, that's right. So, so yeah, a few things to consider when working with the scallop board. But it is what it is. Like if you want to, if Price you want, it's great. <laughs> if you want a cheap board, you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. One of them being you're not gonna get the pretty streaking in it. And if you're gonna get a board under three dollars Canadian or under two dollars American, like it's probably gonna have some scallops in it. That's yeah. just how it is. Or holes, right? The other option you or get holes. some sort of some Chinese made product that has holes through it, has a fifteen year warranty. This one's still coming with a twenty five year right. warranty, right? That's right, yeah. You're still getting so. the great Trex warranty, the great Trex brand name. It's a great product. Yeah. We did find that it tends to scratch a little easier than the Transcend line. If it Even scratches easier or shows? Shows it easier maybe. Maybe right. it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't scratch any different. But a glossier finish maybe. But but again, if you're going to spend $2, you're going to have some sacrifices. If you spend $5, off, yep. yeah. then you're going to get the better quality well, board. And but. even if you go to the the next enhanced line, it works better, right? Like yeah, the color hides it a little bit, right? As right. much. So, so and I mean, it's still better, like whatever. If it's, it's wood scratches too. But you yeah. know, like this is, still has a lot of benefits over wood. Yeah. So clamshell. Saddle, and I'm gonna hold these two up together because they're oh, close yeah. in color. Right. Saddle and beach dune, those round out the E2 line. E2. Enhanced 2. Enhanced, enhanced 2. Generation 2. Yeah. G2. The old enhanced line's not going G2? anywhere yet. G2. I suspect it's probably gonna go Can somewhere at some point. I probably won't be able to go GE2. Somebody will probably have issue with that, right? So. <laughs> The fridge maven company. <laughs> oh, general. Oh, I can't say that. Yeah. Say, that? say what? I don't know. <coughs> Maybe if we say it enough times, they'll about. sponsor the show. <laughs> and we can the deck shop sponsored like by yeah, whoever by appliance it. manufacturer. <laughs> okay. This is the last lineup, right? Yeah. Is this uh, it for Trex? Yes, it is. Trex used to be a four-minute show. Yeah. Here's the colors. Ten they were colors. The same as last year. Now it's a half-hour show. They got twenty-some colors now. Well, fifteen minutes of actual product chatter and then our, the our rest crap. just talking about that's just useless stuff being idiots but hey 
All right, so this is the exciting stuff. What do you got there, Justin? What color is that? Do you remember? No, foggy work. Foggy work. Yeah, is it? No. no, Coastal Bluff. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that's foggy. Coastal oh, it's Bluff. actually, it's Coastal Bluff's the brown. It's neither. What? It's neither. This is, uh, oh man. Show me the color. No, not a chance. No, 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 like just the board. Show me the board. I don't remember what that is now. Wait, for some reason. Oh man. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get it. I've lost. Like it. I would say Rocky Harbor if I had. Oh it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you guys in on a little something. It's Rocky Harbor. So this is the new enhanced basics line. Or sorry, enhanced natural, natural line. Natural. This is the exciting announcement from Trex. The other ones are great. This is exciting because they're, yeah, they're great because of price point, right? Because of price mm -hmm. point. These are great. Price two. point and looks. These are two. Yeah. So. In Trex's lineup before, you had to you had to go to Trex Transcend Tropical line to get the variegated color in it. So I mean, you were in Canada, you were spending just what six bucks linear foot. In the states, it's probably four. I don't know, is that yep. four mm -hmm. on there. It was their highest end board. No coloring for you unless you're in their highest end board. Correct. Now, beautiful coloring in their second lowest cost board. Mm -hmm. This is going to be priced exactly the same as Trex Select. So what used to be their lowest price point at three seventy nine in Canada, probably two and change in. The United States. Now you can get these beautiful colored boards at that same price point. So that's like that's a game Huge, changer, right? And not just a little bit of color. There's like a fair amount of streaking in there. So. Yeah, I believe it looks a lot like their tropical transcend mm -hmm. streaking, right? It's, yeah, they've put in as much sort of secondary coloring as they were with their top end board. So yeah. it's good. It looks really it's, good. And the colors are all unique. There's a couple that are close to some of the um, tropical line, but they're yeah. really close. This is Rocky Harbor. It's kind of a, it's all, it's like rope swing a little bit, but it's rope maybe swing a little bit with more Winchester gray, gray in there. Right? Yeah. What do you think? Rope swing, Winchester gray. Maybe, yeah. Some dark black, dark grays streaking in there. It's a cool color. It's, I, I don't know how it's going to do. It may be too It's got some pinkish in there. Yeah. For some people, but it, like, it looks really good. In some lights, it's almost it looks a swear more word, neutral. Right? When you start talking pink. about decking, you say the word peach or pink, people yeah. are like immediately, <laughs> that's not the board for me. Yeah, so that's right. You have to be tricky how you describe it, right? It's got some taupe coloring. But I think it'll work, it'll work really well in our market. Like in our, a lot of exterior house finishes are that kind of peach, salmony, kind of that strong yep. fish color. Strong. That's strong how I like to describe color. it. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. So you yeah. can just smell the house when you drive by. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I yeah. feel like in the was it in the early '90s they had a run of oh. stucco that mm. was like a peach, pink. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was just that color. Gross. I think this will. Yeah. I think that'll be great. That'll be a great retro yeah. fit board. It mm -hmm. should be good. Next one. Now that now this actually is Foggy Wharf. Oh, okay. Well, I was, well, there's only three that we like really memorized. Wham! No. <laughs> Foggy Wharf. So this one, like at first glance, you think Island Mist if you were to compare it to another Trex board, but it's actually, and you'll notice these are all scalloped and everything, just like the other natural line. The profile's the same. These are all available, in, like, so the fascia boards come in 8 inch and 12 inch on all everything. of their lineup again, right? So these yep. all have uh, both fascia and riser options again. This is. Much more stark than Island Mist. It's yeah, much it's more white. Yeah, yeah lighter yeah. gray, right? Not white, mm. but lighter gray. It's a light gray. It's a little bit brighter, right? A little bit more bluey. So that's gonna be a really nice color. Again, it's like gives you that better contrast. Right? This and that Rocky Harbor, I, I both personally feel like they're just a couple shades away from being super mass popular. They're still gonna be good, but I feel like they just might be like eh, missing the mark just a hair. I oh, think I we're gonna compare them. Yeah, I thought I was waiting to compare them. I was. I agreed with you, but I think the more I see that color, the more I so Island Mist. Foggy Wharf, so you know, six dollars and three seventy three high three dollar yeah, Canadian three, price. Yeah. Point. Like it's literally, it's almost half the price for this yeah. guy here. So yeah, yeah, and good looking man. It's good looking. Not like us, but not like us. If we were good looking, we wouldn't have to have the boards on here. We could just make this like the ultimate stud show. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> And well, then, uh, back now, so I think yeah. okay. he's working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New hairdo coming yeah. next week. He got the hairdo thinking we were just doing a podcast, but hairstyles for fall or winter. Face for radio. Yeah, face for radio. And here we go. Toasted sand. On the podcast, I made fun of these colors because I was like, who the hell's coming up with these names of these? <laughs> Danielle Steele, I think you said. Danielle right? Steele, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be some sort of romance novel writer or something. Yeah. So, Toasted Sand is there. This is comparable it's to like a. Color. It's like a mix between Tiki Torch and Havana Gold, kind of, right? It's like yep. goldeny, it's browny, a yep. little bit yellowish tint to it, but it's got nice black variegation in it again. 
I think that one's good. I think that one's. I this think will that'll be a, be a good color. Yeah. All right. In markets where those colors I mentioned have done well, this should do. This is a little bit more neutral, so it should do even better. Yeah. Probably. It sort of hits between the two, right? So yeah. Rather than splitting your sales. Yep. Yeah. Now this one, I think, this is the big one. In my opinion, this is the one mm. they nailed color-wise. What's this called again? Coastal bluff. Coastal right. bluff. Coastal bluff. This is the brown neutral. This is a similar to spiced rum, but less chocolatey. Like it's a more neutral brown. Yep. Yeah. So I think that one's going to do really well. It's got that point. black streaking. Mm -hmm. I think they they hit the mark with this one. Yeah, yeah this is a really board. attractive board, I think. So, home run for Coastal Bluff. Do they have any boards that only have one name? Yeah. No. What? No. Pebble? Saddle. Saddle. Is and they got two of them. Is it Pebble or Pebble Gray? Pebble Gray. Pebble Gray. Pebble gray. Yeah. But I believe Winchester it's Gray. Fire Pit, if, you, if that's one word. Mm. Anyway, these ones are they're getting fancy. What's this one called? I forget. Oh, it's red. It won't do well. Deck here. experts. Here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We know the industry better <laughs> so than anybody. Just... No, they showed up last week. Look at a red Sunset Cove. Right. Yeah. There's That's too many changes. Be... Like, there's like 25 new boards, colors from the <clears throat> manufacturers. It's going to be a tough one here. Sunset Cove. So we mentioned Madeira from Select. This would be like a similar color to Madeira, but it's actually got some black streaking in it. So that's pretty attractive. Very similar to Lava Rock, right? If yep. Lava Rock does mm -hmm. well in your market, this is gonna crush in your market. Yep. That's all there is to it. Yep. Yep. Very attractive looking board, so. Um, so that rounds out the lineup from Trex in 2019. A lot of changes. Nothing going away this year, Nothing right? going away. That's no. the crazy thing. So they added going... eight boards. E2, E2. Yeah, is five there. streaked colors, three solid colors. Yeah. Yep. Is added. Mm -hmm. And taking nothing out. And then changing I don't the, very, or the uh, embossing on the entire Transcend line. Are they going to continue to make the last Transcend line? So the rope swing with that swirl pattern embossing. No, I think that's. I think that's they're done making that. that they'll that's just gone. sell through what they have. Yeah. Okay. That'll be the challenge. Yeah. Well, it'll go well for a while, right? Because distributors will blow that out and right. like you'll so pick it up for... Confusing thing for me is keeping the original enhanced line around. Like I'm wondering if in some markets or in some commercial applications you have to have full thickness, no scallops, and if it makes sense somewhere, but I don't know, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you keep that around. And even the Trek Select line, which I know it's been popular in the past, but let's not be too romantic about what used to sell. The fact of the matter is now, at the price point of Trek Select, it's no longer that enticing. You can get some solid color boards for a buck a foot less, still tracks. A dollar a foot or less. Or you can get yeah. the really pretty stuff we just showed for, for the, the same, same price. price. Yeah. Puts to select in a bit of a tough spot. Might It'll be. be a tough one. Yep. Time will tell, right? And for sure, Trex, like they've thought about this, so they've. Yep. Mm -hmm. So obviously, Trex yeah. is not just a deck board company anymore. They carry a lot of products. We're not going to get into those in this show. We can save, save that for future shows, but obviously, Trex has like railing coming out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. They've got all sorts of styles of composite railing. They've got aluminum railing now. They've got, you know, rain escape systems. They've got, like, they've got lighting. furniture now. They got lighting. They, got they, lighting. Get, like, they have pergolas, Kitchen cabinets, everything. Pergolas. Kitchen cabinets, spiral staircases. They are mm -hmm. by far the most diverse products company as far as decking goes. So we're gonna leave it with uh, just the deck boards because all the other stuff will find its way into other topics down the road at some point here. Yeah. So, but, uh, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot us a message. Um, we're, uh, we, we own a store called The Ultimate Deck Shop, and uh, this is our business and our life. So if you have questions, let us know. Follow us on Instagram, at The Ultimate Deck Shop. Um, we're also on Facebook at The Ultimate Deck Shop. Uh, we're trying to be everywhere on social media, so find us not on Snapchat. Yet. We talked about that, yet. right? Are you gonna go Too there? much gray hair. I, I'm not allowed. I answered my birthday and told me I was too damn old. <laughs> right. Fair. Just fair. what got arrested just by signing up, I think, actually. Yeah. Wow. So, anyways. <laughs> it's, producer uh, Pat thinks that's producer a hit. Great Pat. joke. Producer Pat. He's going to be a tough one to deal with all year. Yep. Um, so, anyways, that's the Trex lineup for 2019. Again, if you have any questions, uh, we're going to roll through this on uh, each of the colors, each of the brands that we carry. So, if you guys are interested in hearing more about composite decking in general, if you have any topics you do want to hear about brands specifically or uh, trends or building practices or whatever, yeah. like we're willing to just sit in front of the camera and Make stuff up. Be dummies and pretend like we know. Yeah. Do a yeah, little bit of research yeah. before. We right? figure if you're asking, you don't know, so we can just tell you whatever we want and 
Sell it you'll, you'll believe us. That's right. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. What do you got, Pat? How much did your bowl back cost? Oh, good question. Thirty-seven dollars. Thirty-seven. Oh, wow. That's Canadian. That's Canadian. Is that tip included? Tip in. Tip in. Oh, Thirty-seven dollars. Wow. Maybe we're in the wrong business. That's I think like, we should probably start like up twenty-eight dollars American for that. That's a lot. I can tell you that I won't be getting that haircut again. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning Keep in to the Ultimate Deck Show. Keep it that fun. <laughs> good. Shut it down. Cut.